Hey everybody, I'm BuilderDude35 and this week I'm going to be teaching you how to make an EV3G program that will make your robot drive in a straight line using the gyro sensor. So here I have opened the EV3 programming software and I'm about to show you how to make that program that makes your robot drive straight using the gyro sensor. This is a very simple program, it only has four parts and it works off of something called proportional logic and if you've seen my previous video on proportional line followers you know what proportional logic is where basically you have a desired value and depending on how far away from your desired value is going to affect the magnitude of your correction so anyway enough of that theory stuff I'll explain more about how it works in just a second I'm going to show you how to build this program first take out a loop block I have my loop block set to unlimited just for the purpose of demonstration don't actually set your loop block to unlimited because then your robot's going to drive forever and crash into something. You can change it to exit this loop with whatever case you wish. Now, the next thing you're going to do is take out a gyro sensor block. And we're going to have it measure angle. And it's already measuring angle, so we really don't have to do anything. Select your desired port, as always. We're going to take out a math block right here put that right there and then at the end of it all we're going to take a move steering block and place that there so after that we're going to set this math block to multiply we're going to plug this in for the input one of the math block input a we're going to set this to negative 10 and I'll explain why in a second and then we're going to just set this to on the output of this math block is then going to become the steering factor for this and then this power value can be whatever you desire so now I'll explain what this program is doing uh, just as I explained before what it's going to do is it's going to check the gyro value if the gyro value is zero that's great that means we're on track we're heading straight and we don't need to make any corrections so we're just going to tell the robot to drive straight if the gyro value is negative that means we're veering too far to the left of our desired path and we need to turn right and if the gyro value is positive that means we're veering too far right and we need to turn left and the program accomplishes this with this right here it first reads the gyro's value multiplies it by a negative number in my case negative 10 and the reason why it's multiplied by a negative number is to get the robot to drive in to turn into the opposite direction that it's already veering off to then it takes this result and sets it as the steering factor for the steering block. The reason why I chose negative 10 is um, well, this is a scalar factor and this can be changed to however you desire and I actually do recommend that you fine-tune this based on your needs. If you make this number closer to 0 like let's say negative 5 it's going to make smoother corrections and if you make this farther from 0 let's say negative 50 which is just a really big number but that's going to make much sharper corrections and you can just play around with these settings until you get the tuning that you desire for your robot but I recommend starting with negative 10 and now finally this is a proportional follower because what it's doing is it's taking the sensor value and the farther away from the desired value in this case zero the sharper the correction it's going to make so let's say the gyro value is five that's a slight deviation from our desired path of five degrees and it's going to multiply this and you're going to get an output and um, it's going to tell your robot to turn negative fifty um, in towards the line but instead of the gyro value of say one instead of five it's going to multiply and come to negative ten and it's going to make a much smaller correction than if the gyro value was five and so that's why it's proportional. The farther away it is from the desired value, the greater of a correction it's going to make. So here we have just the bare bones program. And like I said, play with this scalar value here to find the tuning that works for you. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.